Hello! I hope everybody's having a glorious and productive Wednesday. I thought I would do a review on this book. I read it uh, the night that I got it. Um, it's Lon Milo Duquette's Homemade Magic, The Musings and Mischief of a Do-It-Yourself Magus. So, um, just real quick, we'll go over the back of the book again. This book goes over choosing your magical motto, performing a self-initiation ritual, making your own tools, raising children in a magical home, performing the rite of earth, and learning how to make your whole life magic. This man has led quite an impressive and interesting life, quite, an, quite a singular experience, um, meaning to me, meaning unique from most other people's experiences in quite a few ways. I did highlight and mark a few things I thought that would be cool to share. Um, it's a really quick read. It's um, in total, let's see, hmm, less than 200 pages. I'm not sure exactly where it stops. Uh, stops in the 190s. Okay. So we get to page 7. And here I highlighted, you are and always will be your own universe. You are a homemade magic school, magic school with one teacher and one student. You are an entire mystic order of one. You will remain forever a solitary practitioner. Um, that may not totally jive in people's heads if they are members of covens, and that's not to say there's anything against belonging to an order or a coven, but yet still you are your own person, and everybody, even if they're part of a group, does things in their own way. Ultimately, you are a solo act, and your temple, your workshop, your laboratory, and your universe are your own body, your own brain, your own soul. Doing magic is not what magic is about. The goal in magic is to be a magician. Whatever your situation, once you realize you are a magician, it will be impossible for you to remove the magic from any aspect of your existence. It's all magic because you never stop being a magician. Your homemade magical adventure begins when you first wake up to the fact that you are quite literally asleep. We will all wake up eventually, but what differentiates, differenti differentiates magicians from our sleepy neighbors is that we are ready and willing to jumpstart the waking up process formally and with full intent. We sleep from our, we stir from our slumbering stupor and declare to the gods, I am waking up now, let my journey begin. Okay, then I'm gonna just flip through to some stuff that I flagged here. This was quite an interesting chapter 13. <clears throat> Excuse me, Magic on the Road. Let's see. I have added quite a bit in this chapter. Um, one thing I found useful in this chapter is how he discusses the use of a tarot deck to set up your magical temple wherever you go. It goes over different setups. Let's see. At some point, I just quit highlighting everything and put brackets. This was, I think, the most useful chapter to me out of the whole book. Um, the whole book is interesting. Um, I don't know that this would be a book for everybody. I wouldn't say, I don't know that even most people um, in the witchy community would be incredibly interested in this book, but um, I do think it was quite interesting. So here's a little diagram of how he uses the tarot cards to set, uh, set up a magical circle of the zodiac. 
talks about using the aces to set your four quarters. Um, he talks about his family life. He talks about his men, what we would call a mundane life. And there's quite a few pictures in the book of things he's done with his wife. He is quite the family man. They raised one son together, and all of the family are initiated. So uh, this isn't a very lar long review, just because um, it's it's really about his personal life. It's not going to be teaching most people things they would be interested in. Uh, I did find it a touching book and quite interesting. I do have another one of his books on the way that may be a bit more interesting to most people, I think. But, um... Yeah, I d I'm glad I got this book, and if you are mildly interested, I do recommend it. I just, I don't know, I have a feeling most people wouldn't spend their money on this book out of all the other books to choose from in the world, but um, it is one I will keep, and I will be studying that one particular chapter on the, using a tarot deck wherever you go. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be it. I don't want to make it too long. I have other things I'm doing. I'm going to be sharing a few more videos, um, making some incenses today, using those incense blank sticks that I have, and I'll be posting that fairly soon. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you're having a beautifully magical day, and I wish you many blessings. Bye.